Hey, Snackers. Do you want to learn how Cisco's recent acquisition of Kenneth Security Vulnerability Management helps you identify threats faster and improve collaboration between security and IT? Then join Oksana Sonikova in episode 33 of DevNet Snackman. Hey everyone, Matt Napoli here. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with the Cisco DevNet program. Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a technical advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. And welcome to episode 33 of DevNet Snack Minutes. DevNet Snack Minute is your 10 minute all things DevNet, giving you a quick fun way to learn about Cisco APIs, coding, and just some cool stuff that we want you to know that we do here at DevNet. And today we're going to be talking to one of our members of the Global Security Architecture team. And um, Oksana, would you mind introducing yourself? Sure. Hi, guys. My name is Oksana Sanikova. I'm Security Technical Solutions Architect on um, Global Security Architecture team. And I'm also running the Security Programmability team, which is the team of C TSAs in the field that are keen on programmability and building some cool stuff. So I understand that you're going to be talking to us today about a recent acquisition within Cisco uh, called Kenna Security. Um, can you give us a little bit of a background on uh, kind of how it fits into Cisco's portfolio, uh, security portfolio? Yes, yeah, sure. So um, in all of our conversations with the customers, automation and programmability has come a lot. Simplifying processes has come a lot as one of the key themes. And uh, uh, amongst all of the topics that uh, customers are keen to automate, there were four main themes that were threat hunting, um, response to the threats, enrichment with the context from various different systems, and cyber hygiene. So cyber hygiene is the area we, where we have been heavily investing lately uh, to satisfy our customers' need and customer requirements. And uh, we have acquired and we have acquired a Kana security platform, which is a risk-based vulnerability management uh, platform that takes uh, global threat intelligence and your local uh, company context, and it helps to prioritize the vulnerabilities and really focus only on those that present the threat to your organization. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, awesome. It yeah, so um, of those four that you talked about, does Kenna kind of cover some portion of all of those? Yeah, it's a part of vulnerability management, so it will be playing a big role in our um, in us uh, covering automation in cyber hygiene sphere. So uh, we will be focusing on leveraging Kenna intelligence in making decisions whether certain threats are false positive or they really present risk to our organization and vice versa. Kenna will be getting um, a lot of intelligence from Cisco security solutions to help them streamline their um, ML and AI uh, technologies to make better decisions. Can you tell us a little bit about how uh, Kenna integrates with Cisco as a whole and what the Cisco security suite that we, we offer? Yeah, so it will integrate with the new capability that we will bring in Securex, which is Device Insight, which will be coming soon. And uh, for now, uh, since we don't have direct integration with Securex, it's a very, very recent acquisition. Uh, Kenna integrates with Cisco suite, suite through SecureX orchestration and through APIs where we can automate a lot of things already from uh, zero day. Matt is excited. <laughs> yeah, I heard APIs. I got excited. And, and <laughs> Kareem and I are familiar with the orchestration portion of SecureX. And in one of our previous episode, episodes, Christopher Vandermade came on and, and gave us a little demo of that. So I'm kind of excited because I actually think you're going to show us how you integrated um, SecureX with Kenna before the native integration is coming. All right. Imagine that you are a security analyst and it's Friday evening and you're about to head home for the weekend and an event comes in that is threat detected on one of the corporate laptops and CISO is calling you to find out if uh, we are impacted, if uh, this is a real threat and not a false positive and you have to quickly investigate it and answer, answer this question. So the information you have from the original event is a little bit limited. You have the name of the malware that was executed, the file hash, 
and the computer where it was executed. But how can you really find out if uh, this uh, malware really presents threat to this particular computer? Well, we can do it leveraging Kana intelligence. Um, I have put together the workflow that leverages APIs from SecureX and from Kana to help us find out what are the vulnerabilities on this particular laptop and whether any of these vulnerabilities can be leveraged by this particular malware. So um, let's run this workflow. Normally, you would want to run this workflow on schedule, but uh, we will run it uh, manually for now. And as, as we're going through the workflow, Oksana, if you don't mind, can you just talk about the different pieces and the atomic actions and, and the APIs that are happening just to give our snackers an idea of what's how easy it is to, to build a no-code flow um, and, and how powerful it is to leverage those APIs? Yes, sure, definitely. That's what I'm going to do now. So let's look at this Sweet. workflow while it runs. First thing we're doing is we're leveraging SecureX API just to drop the information about that incident that we have just looked at. Um, the next thing we're doing is we're reaching out to Kenna to find information about this particular computer. Um, and then we, uh, when we get this computer ID, we will look at uh, um, all vulnerabilities on this computer. And this is the action that I wanted to show you. This uh, is a little uh, kind of like a function that I have put together, which helps you to um, reuse these kind of actions across different workflows that you can uh, uh, leverage to automate different things. So this is called atomic action, and this is kind of analog to uh, function in programming languages. And here we execute an API call towards uh, Kenna security platform where we are looking for those vulnerabilities where there is an existing malware out in the wild that can be executed. We look for those vulnerabilities that have active internet breaches in the last six months that are very popular um, by attackers to be leveraged. So we are looking for very specific dangerous vulnerabilities. And amongst those vulnerabilities, we are looking for those that have existing malware and we are trying to match it to the malware that has been triggered on our um, original incident. And if we find the match, then this information is being provided and updated back to original SecureX incident um, by leveraging SecureX API. This is an excellent way for people who aren't super comfortable with writing code um, yet, uh, it looks like they can just implement those APIs in these workflows um, really quickly to, to tie into any other platforms, let alone Kenna, which we see here. That's awesome. Exactly. It's very easy to build them. We have a lot of samples and we actually have a library of uh, pre-built proof of concept workflows that anyone can leverage. Awesome. Fantastic. Huh. Let's go back to the original incident and see if we have received any information from Kenna. As you can see, uh, indeed, vulnerability match has been found in Kenna. So this malware does leverage vulnerability that is present on this laptop. So let's actually go and log in into Kenna and see what we have. So this is the computer that we are dealing with. Um, in this screen, you will see all the vulnerabilities present on this computer. As you can see, there are quite a lot. So you would need to some way to prioritize and find out which one you need to start with, right? And that's what vulnerability management is about and where Kenna will really help us. There are a lot of very high risk score vulnerabilities um, and the one that has been linked to SecureX incident and is uh, listed here in the notes. If we look at this vulnerability, we will see that uh, this is uh, a SMB protocol realization by Microsoft that allows to execute arbitrary code for remote attackers and uh, it also allows um, them like to be um, leveraged by existing uh, malware. As you can see, Kenna takes a lot of intelligence, a lot of different artifacts, and it puts them into these big buckets, whether this vulnerability has been leveraged in active internet breaches, whether it has been easily exploitable, whether there is malware exploitable, and uh, it's popular target, and uh, uh, remote code execution is possible. And based on all of these criteria, we see this is a very high risk vulnerability. So we do need to address it as soon as possible. 
And um, if we dive deeper, we will see that uh, Kenna provides us with information how to remediate, how to diagnose. You can even download the patches for necessary systems right here. It tells you what are the active exploits out in the wild leveraging this vulnerability. And it gives you the hashes of the known malware that is leveraging this vulnerability. And guess what? This is how we made a match. This is how we found out by the API that we have a hit. That is that is awesome. It doesn't look, sound like as a security analyst, you're going to be making that cocktail hour on Friday night. Kareem, I'm going to kick it to you to ask our final question. Yeah, definitely. So, Oksana, again, thank you. Um, we do ask all of our guests this question, and we'd like to know yours. Um, if you have one superpower, uh, what would that be and why? Well, so the superpower, I guess, is um, willing to help people. So something to help people. That sounds great. I, we haven't, we, yeah, we haven't heard anything like that. You probably already flex your superpower as it is. Oksana, thank you so much for joining us uh, for this Snack Minute. Thank you, everyone else, for joining us for this Snack Minute. And uh, catch us uh, next week as we present you with another cool thing from DevNet. Thanks, Snackers. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Karim.